you so much. A lot of fun. I didn't introduce my new fiddle, though, to you, did I? No, you did. I put Pongo to bed. Brought out my Celtic fiddle. <laughs> I call this one my sunset violin. It's a copper violin, but as you see, she changes to purple in the light, so I like her. She's got a, a new feather. This happens to be a peacock feather. They have this iridescence to them. They change colors, just like my fiddle, just like sunset. Well, we're going to do a, a song now from my latest CD, which is called Titanic Centennial Commemorative Special Edition. These are all original compositions and arrangements meant to honor the people of the passengers and crews, crew of the Titanic. And um, many of these uh, songs, are, well, they all have stories that go with them. And there's a booklet inside the CD that tells you the story of the song that we're doing. The song now we're going to turn to is called Father Brown. And Father Brown happened to be a Jesuit priest uh, from, from Ireland. He was not yet a father in 1912, but he was studying, and he had a first-class ticket on the Titanic to go from Ireland to France. His father had bought him, and his father, or I guess his grandfather, was also in, in the uh, Jesuits. So, he had a camera. He was a big camera buff. So, he's the only one that is known to have taken photos of the Titanic on its maiden voyage. He had full run of the ship because with a first class ticket, he could go anywhere. So he took pictures of the first class, the second class, and the third class, and, um, and the uh, last picture of the Titanic as it left uh, France for the, uh, oh no, it left France and went back to England, didn't it? Uh, it went back to Ireland and then it left from Ireland. Okay, I gotta get my story straight. But anyway, these uh, photos never got published because um, he started to do a little, you know, a little kind of display and the uh, White Star Line wanted to put this matter to rest, you know, they wanted it to go away so they asked him not to show his pictures. So he put him out of the trunk and they stayed there and he died in 1960 at uh, age of 80 and his photos were not discovered until 1982 and then uh, now they have become the most uh, recognizable photos and they're used in all the galleries and the displays and exhibits that are touring the country right now. So we're going to feature the Native American flute, the Irish whistle, and the fiddle, a song called Father Brown. 